going to breathe in in three, and we're going to breathe out in five. So we breathe in. It's okay to take a break. Give your brain a little rest. Breathe out. Alejandra Ramos Gomez is a teacher at Walnut Hill Elementary. Breathe in in three. She says exercises like this can impact the mental well-being of students. It's part of Social and Emotional Learning, or SEL, at Dallas Independent School District. Well, we're going to do a mini brain break that you could do at home. Every DISD teacher and staff member is now trained for trauma-informed care. The district also hired 53 new SEL clinicians, and each school day has time built in for teachers to see how students are doing. By jumping jacks. To help them get their blood flowing. So up and down, and whew. And side to side. And to have conversations. Like, what color are you feeling today? So they can work through emotions. I think it's more about creating a space where they know that if they want to share, we'll listen. For Alejandra's students, they've been through a lot. Walnut Hill Elementary was destroyed by a tornado in October. And in March, COVID-19 hit. Her students had a routine, but now there is no definition of normal. We're just going to breathe in and out, listening to the bowl. She says SEL has been so positive for the mental health of her kids. They are learning many things in life they can't control, but they can, with small moments like this, center their minds and grow. In Dallas, I'm Tiffany Liu. When you feel ready, you can open your eyes and bring your awareness, including the room and the things around.